Hey guys, just making a uh, another video. This is going to be a MAME UI64 update with ROMs and CHDs. So this is going to be another one in, I don't know if we'll do a series, but uh, as we go and people have questions or comments, um, problems that they have maybe with MAME, getting, you know, things worked out or whatever but this is to get you a hundred percent in main so this is what we're going to do so I went over to this site here and I got the latest version which is main UI 64 uh, version dot one nine zero okay now I have a 64-bit system uh, running Windows 10 so this site here which is main UI dot info is where I get the 64 GUI version of MAME and 64-bit uh, version of, of Windows is compatible with the MAME UI 64-bit version of the MAME UI so if you have a 32-bit if you're running the older stuff uh, older Windows 7 or Windows 10 and it's 32-bit find out what you have if not this is where you get the 64-bit Windows 7, Windows 10, anything 64-bit. That's what I have and that's what uh, I'm going to run on this. If you have a 32-bit version, just Google Mame UI 32 and it should be just fine for you. Other than that, let's begin. So we're going to download this, which I already did, and this is the version you want. Not the source, but the actual download. Okay. And what it does is it gives you a zip folder, um, a folder that is zipped rather. And when you unzip it, um, it'll give you the MAME 65, uh, MAME UI 64 folder. So then you come over here and you grab all of this, and we're going to cut. We're going to go back up to our MAME folder, and we're going to paste. And as it's moving over, it'll at some point ask you to uh, copy and replace. We're going to replace all the files in the destination. So we're upgrading to the new 1.90. So once that's done, those are all the highlighted folders and everything that it, uh, it updated to. Okay, so now what we do is I've got the latest CHDs from 189 version to 190 and also the ROMs 189 to 190 so those are those are the updates for the newest version and what we're going to do we're going to start with the CHDs first because this is easy and there's only two folders so you want to grab both of those and we're going to cut and we're going to go back up and we're going to go to the ROMs folder. I got these. Yeah, that's right. Okay. We're going to go to the ROMs folder. And in my ROMs folder, I have my CHDs. And they're all in there. So we're going to paste those two that we copied in here. And they're already there. I've got kind of a fast computer, so it doesn't take very long. Okay, so we'll go back over here, and in the ROMs, this is kind of like a, a raw update. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all these, and we're going to cut, and we're not going to put them in the ROMs. We're going to, I have a folder called update. We're going to do this first. So we're going to paste them all in an update folder which I created in my main folder all together so that's where we put the, the updates okay now there's a difference there's updates and then there's an actual complete set if you already have a complete set of 189 and you just need the 190 you get the update and I'm not going to tell you where to get the ROMs because they're out there you just got to look around Google do whatever you got to do Okay, so now all of the updates for nine, 190 is an update. Okay, so what we do is we come over here to Clear Main Pro. 
We're going to hit main UI 64. Database is update is required. And we're going to hit OK. It's going to go through its thing. It takes a couple of minutes. Because what it's doing is, is ClearMain Pro is now reading from the new version of Main. Okay? Even though the icon looks the same, when we grabbed the new Main UI 64, which is not here anymore because we copied it over, it gave us a new executable. So this folder here actually we can get rid of. And so this will take a few minutes. And now that we have these gone also, I can get rid of these two. Okay, so now we have a clean main folder. Getting back to clean main pro. Now once it uh, configures to the new version, the 1.190, it's going to receive the data from the new MAME version and it's scanning all the games. Now it's going to pop up software list. I don't use software lists. If you want to use software lists, that's up to you. Um, I don't use it just because I like a simple MAME. If you have software lists, it's basically, it separates all of the um, games and all that kind of thing. It's, it's, it's too much work. So I want to keep it simple as possible. I have 100%. That's all we need to do. So I hit no every time because I don't do software lists. And then... There's a few of these little errors that come up, and it's simple, basic. Um, it'll say, do you want this, uh, you know, it doesn't exist, do you want to add it, whatever. I always hit OK to all. You're not going to mess up anything, as long as you're following how I'm doing it. Um, this one always comes up. It says useless. Sample merge relationship will, will be removed. It comes up every time I upgrade a version, so I don't know why it keeps looking for this, but I hit OK to all. And can't merge that due to equal names or different hash, different hashes. Clone files will be named differently if full merge mode is used. Again, I hit OK to all. Basically, those are little warnings. They're, they're new things that get set up. And here we go. Okay, so now this is on my last video. I kind of showed what was going to happen with the rebuilder. This is what we're going to do with the updates. And we're rebuilding our version of MAME to the latest version. So when we get back to here, once it's scanned the new MAME, we hit rebuilder. Okay, so now we come to this screen and the source file where we put all the updates is MAME update okay and the destination and this depends on your directory so wherever your MAME folder is and you have your update this is where your source is going to be your destination is going to be your path to your ROMs folder which is over here okay so it's going to update from here all of our updates and it's going to move them over here to the ROMs folder. Okay, so once we have that, we're good. I always use split sets. Even when I scan, I use split sets. Merge sets it doesn't show like the clones and the bootlegs and everything like that. Save space, but I've got a terabyte hard drive that I have everything on main. So I use split sets. I always have. All this other stuff, leave it alone. All these two buttons here, we don't worry about it. We're keeping it simple. We hit rebuild. What it's doing now, it's taking all these ROMs over here from the update and moving them over here to the ROMs, and it's building the new 
conversion of one point or point one nine zero, and it's making certain things. It's adding to the ROMs folder and taking away things. Maybe if if the new ROMs or the older ROMs don't need certain files, it's rebuilding the ROMs. So we have sixty four source files. It analyzed. It created new files. One hundred ninety three. It matched the files for what we got, and there's skip files that are in here that it doesn't need anymore. Okay, so we hit OK. Now, what I like to do also, just to make sure, double check, is use a backup path, which is over in ClearMain Pro as a backup. And what that does is it puts ROMs that it doesn't find or doesn't see or doesn't use anymore, um, it puts them in there. So what I do, just to make sure we got everything going, I hit use backup path, and it's going to scan the backup, and again, we're going to use the destination for the ROMs folder, and rebuild. Okay, source files, created files, zero. So it didn't find anything and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to put this back to update, and we're done with this section. Okay. Now we're going to come over here to Scanner, and if you want to be safe at first, uncheck all those. Otherwise, I know that I'm good to go. We're doing split sets. We're not touching any of this, and we're going to hit New Scan. And with it being a new version, sometimes I'm missing a couple, and I have to go find those different ROMs or whatnot. So here's my first... Uh, Set uh, fix wrong set name. Yes, we want to do that because it's new and it's finding something different. You want to rename the set, and we're going to hit yes to all. So the next one it comes up like this. Do you want to rename? We're not going to get this error again because we're going to hit yes to all. Do you want to remove the file? Uh, it's a directory text. It's just a text file. Always is in the the update. It shows basically. Uh, it's like a text file that shows all the updates and the fixes and all that kind of stuff. Yes, we want to get rid of that out of our ROMs folder. So as it scans, do you want to move the ROM? See now with with point one nine zero, there's always things in the of the wrong place. There's alligator. That's a new new ROM. So as things progress, things get moved around or not needed or anything. So we hit again yes to all. I'm talking through this. Basically, whenever I get these little errors that pop up, I hit yes to all to everything. So as we go through, we're just going to hit yes to all. And as you see, I'm with the new version, there's some in, in where I picked up the new version that updates, there's already some that I have to go find. Hopefully it won't be a long list. So as we continue with that, so that might be just the only ones that I need to go find. Okay. So, yep, those are the only ones, and it looks like um, sample. No. Okay. So those. So it looks like only really one, one ROM with different, and what we can do here is we can expand other oh, samples. Okay, so samples are the sounds in the game, and they also fit in your ROMs folder. So yeah, it's, they're all the same thing. See, boot and start, coin crashes. So it's one ROM folder, a ROM uh, zip. It's missing the, yeah, same thing here. So I'm missing one sample because these are all the same, but they all, they all go to different ROMs, okay? So that's just one. That's an easy find. Sometimes I'll have a list of maybe 20 or 30 ROMs that I need to find, but these are all the same for each one, so that's, that's an easy find. And when I do find it, they go right into the ROMs folder, okay? So, here's the updated. I hope that helped you out. It's rebuilding and upgrading.
to the newest version of MAME. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. And as always, keep it simple. It's not that hard to figure this stuff out once you get it all in place and you continue to upgrade as they come out each month and it's it's fun and I'm a hundred percent complete with all my versions of MAME every time as long as I find all the different uh, ones that I am missing and it only takes a second just to find it and go from there so good luck to everyone like I said if you have any questions let me know and we'll go from there alright have a good one